everybody. It is March 4th, 2024 in beautiful, which could be more beautiful Big Bear Lake if we had more snow, but in beautiful Big Bear Lake. As you know, at the beginning of the storm, we had over a foot predicted for this area. And look, it's invisible though. But yeah, there's like way more than a foot of snow. It's the most beautiful invisible snow I've ever seen. But this is the aftermath video. We always do the aftermath video no matter what. It's just part of my obsession. So enjoy, this time we do the whole entire valley. But minus a couple of the neighborhoods we would usually hit because there's no point in really seeing it because there's not much snow. So we're gonna go to the dam and then all the way to Baldwin Lake. And I hope you enjoy the cruise. It'll be a nice little cruise, guys. Hey, don't forget guys, right here is Get Boards. That's one of the Get Boards shops. And the other one is right up here on this corner. There is number two for Get Boards. And in that same first shopping center, right across the street is Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Not just smoke and vape stuff. And I only refer you guys to the to the best owners who care about you guys and don't, don't overcharge you guys. These guys all have killer, killer stuff. And when it comes to get boards, you guys, as long as you mention the channel, they'll take care of you. If you bring your own skis and snowboards in, they will wax them for free. So it's usually like a $25 to $40 value. Makes all the difference on the slopes. Even for someone who's not as great of a skier as I am. I used to be a lot better. I know that's hard to believe, but I'm just shocked how horrible I am these days. Um, I just don't, I don't have the courage anymore. But, uh head in to get boards for your best prices your best quality rentals up here and they don't just have stuff to rent they have stuff you can purchase as well wonderful staff you guys i i can't say enough about them they are a wonderful staff and that's called a green light buddy um very 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 knowledgeable if you have any issues with your own personal equipment they can fix it on the spot there um, they've got this crazy machine that's like 20 or twenty-five thousand dollars that fully tests every aspect of your skis and bindings and this and that if you bring your own stuff in to have them prep it for you because they want to make sure that you don't get hurt and 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 they've put a lot of money into this stuff to make sure that they absolutely know exactly what's going on with all your equipment so great spot to go to guys as i said best prices and if you want to save money on your lift tickets you guys just go to getboards.com and if you order your, your tickets 72 hours in advance of the day you're going to go skiing you will save a good amount of money doing it that way instead of actually going to the ticket window the day of skiing So once again, get boards. And they have two, they have the ride shop and the ski shop right on Big Bear Boulevard, a block and two blocks away from our, our famous village. So it's perfectly located. It's right there. All the information is in the description of the video. It 
looks like I'm doing some swerving, it's because I'm trying to avoid potholes. Potholes are no bueno. Not one bit. They have fixed a couple of them, so that's good, but there's still some pretty nasty ones out here. You know what, just looking at that right there, even with no snow out here, it's just so pretty. about to enter the snowiest area in all of Big Bear. Always trying to help you guys out because I know most, most people want to come here and stay where it snows the most. And when it comes to the most snow, we actually have an Airbnb property on this channel that you can rent. Just let, let me know and the information should be in the description as well. Um, this place is right next to Bear Mountain a part of town that gets an incredible amount of snow on, on one of our most famous streets called Sheephorn. But this, from here on to the Big Bear Dam, from this point on, this is considered the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley. The neighborhood I'm talking about where we have the Airbnb, that's a little bit higher elevation. That, that, that's not technically the valley floor that's a little bit up in, in elevation, so you're gonna get a lot more snow and it's right against the mountain. The storms hit the mountain. The mountain causes lots of lift and the storms just dump right there. But yeah, guys, we are entering the snowiest part of the valley. Whole point for mentioning this is if you didn't wanna stay near Bear Mountain or take us up on our really nice Airbnb, then anywhere from basically Big Bear Village to the Big Bear Dam would be your best bet in terms of finding a place to stay. Any, any hotel in between the village and where we're going right now is where you want to go. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, it is a significant difference in snow that you'll get over here compared to where even I live. A huge difference. If there's a foot of snow over here, maybe there will be six inches at my house. And then where we're going to the other side of town, I'll bet you guys half this drive, you're not going to see any snow. And it's crazy because it, it's only like seven and a half miles from the dam to the other end of town. Pretty amazing stuff. Waterfall, nice. I love seeing these waterfalls over here. It's great. rock it's got the pareidolia effect it looks like a face and people put in teeth I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a good enough angle coming this direction to, to really see it that well but our friend Conrad calls it Jabba the rock and I think we're getting close wait till you guys see it it is pretty funny but we got a big rig behind us, like literally on, on, on my tail. Because I am human, I do want to toss a brake check out there, you know? But I won't do it. Maybe if it's like Caltrans, maybe I'll do it. Because we'll, we'll get a brand new car. But I already have a brand new car, so no need. There's Icebox Lane, or... Yeah, I just <laughs> couldn't imagine just getting all that stuff shoveled out. <sighs> there, 
Paris, Java. But you, you, you can't really tell. You can't really tell going this way. Coming the other way, it's hilarious. And it's not too far as you enter town. Or past the dam, I should say. Temperature over here is 46 degrees. Damn, damn, we made it quickly. Right. How beautiful is that, guys? We're looking over at Snow Valley Ski Resort over there. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And now we're gonna ride along the beautiful lake with beautiful blue skies for a lot of the journey now. And while we're driving the lake, I'm gonna try not to do too much talking. spectacular today guys wow look at that so lucky to live here I say that every time we're over here crystal clear peak in Southern California at 11,555 feet. Pretty cool. If I ever have the strength to get back in shape, then uh, we'll go up and hike it to the peak with Ray. 
but that's like uh, if you're fast it's like a Ray said about a 12 to, to 15 hour hike but if you're going I mean if you're absolutely people end up staying the night and it's pretty damn dangerous because there's there's a lot of wildlife up there so you, you just got to be super cautious I just don't think I have the stomach for for a darn bear to come come right up on me place called the outpost as soon as you enter Fonskin here the outpost has is a newly renovated just looks looks amazing I've done a lot of research on it um, I just learned a lot more about it and Rachel and I are gonna stay here probably on my birthday which is in a few weeks here but here's the outpost I know that's not a great view but a lot of these cabins are literally right on Grout Creek right on Grout Creek. And if you want to book through there, you, you have to go to outpostbigbear.com or, or go on Google and type in the Outpost Big Bear and you have to book through that site. You won't find it on Expedia or, or anything like that. And as I said, it sits right here on the tributary and there's no cars behind us, so we're not blocking anybody. But yeah, it sits, it sits right there on this beautiful tributary. And when there's a bunch of snow in the area, my goodness, guys, it's, I can't imagine how beautiful that place is. So there's definitely going to be water flowing while we go there. I'm excited about that. That's going to be a really, really nice ambient sound, ambient sound, whatever. Temperature is 47 degrees now, and we are in the Fawn Skin area. Guys, once we exit Fawn Skin here, even though you're not seeing much snow at all, a lot of this part of Fawn Skin gets a lot of sunlight. So you're gonna get a lot of that radiational heating from the from the sun directly hitting this area. But after Fawn Skin, I don't think we're gonna see much much more snow. It's gonna be really, really, really interesting to to see this because we haven't been over to the Baldwin side in over a week for any videos so when we do get decent snowstorms guys I'm over there multiple times so but when it's mostly raining and hardly any snow then there's not much of a point I try to stay where 90 plus percent of you visit for the other 10%, I apologize. You are worth it. But I mean, it's incredibly expensive, the amount of gas that I'm constantly tossing in here. Thank, thank you guys for the help. Like, thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, that is just special right there. Look at that. I said guys the further we go this this direction at this point most of the snow we're gonna see is gonna be in very shady areas that don't see a bunch of direct sunlight
Okay, for those of you who watch often, I think I'm going to go for the Amish beard. Haven't had that in a long time, so I'm going to grow this out a little bit and shave that, and we're going to do it. We are going to do it, then we're going to build some cool stuff. Because those Amish folks, man, they are some darn good carpenters. I wish I knew how to build anything. So you turn left here, you're going to Holcomb Valley. This is Pollock Canyon Road. Four mile drive to get to Holcomb. in the universe. Moving so fast that it goes around the sun every year. And the sun, I think, is like, what, 92 million miles away or something like that? I mean, could you imagine... Knowledge is always power. I think it would be a very stressful situation to know what's really going on, you know. If we didn't have any concerns of our mortality, like norm like we you know naturally do, then it wouldn't be a, a big deal to learn about that stuff. But I mean seriously, if we're floating on this big rock floating in, on a rock in the universe and it's so big out there it'd be amazing if if one day we can figure out how to you know bend space time and travel to reaches that we would never be able to get to because the universe is expanding at faster than light speed, which is just an unbelievable thought. Like, even if we could travel at light speed, we would never in human history or any time ever be able to get to the end of the universe, ever, under any circumstance, unless we can, as I said, bend space-time 
and actually create wormholes or find the wormholes and we're just living with a ton of ignorance on this planet and ignorance as I said is completely bliss for situations like this and just like everything good someday this is all going to end Just glad I'm not going to be around for that. There's Bear Mountain right there. So leave in the comment, the two of you still watching, um, do you believe that Bear Mountain had 150 inches of snow in February? As they say, that's a record for February. I mean, maybe the very, very, very top saw, you know, I don't know, maybe close, maybe, I don't know, but if you, if you notice when you're reading these news articles, all they say is Bear Mountain, Big Bear Mountain received a record amount of snowfall for February. And I think that's very deceptive for you guys, because when you go to the, when you go there, there's nothing even close it's not even close like like they must be talking about like bear mountain in switzerland or something like it's but if anyone has any better information for me that would be wonderful wunderbar As you can see, guys, there's no snow, and I am almost 100% certain, even in the shady areas of where we're headed right now, you're not going to see anything. But I'm looking forward to seeing the lake that forms basically annually because of all the rain and snow. I think that's going to be a beautiful sight. Side. This was Highway 38, but once you hit Greenway Street, it changes to Highway 18. That water looks absolutely gross.
there's Baldwin Lake, you guys. Lake Ecological Reserve over here. But yeah, just nothing, no snow over here. Just as I said, guys, it's only like seven and a half miles from from the Big Bear Dam. Same elevation and everything, but there's just nothing out here.
equestrian stuff going on and farm farm stuff. Farm stuff. Sorry, I, I didn't have a better way to put it. <laughs> yeah, this is Baldwin Lake. We're on Baldwin Lake Road and it's about to change over to Shea Road. S-H-A-Y. As you start to get into the Big Bear City part of the valley and stuff, it does see a lot more snow than where we just came from five minutes ago.
is still technically Highway 38 until we get to Greenway. That, that could be the case. That very well could be the case. city now. We've almost made the complete loop around the main part of the valley. So we are coming up, as I told you guys at the beginning of, of, of the video, we have a thing called Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Two, two of, of, of their shops up here. Owner, as I said, great, great guy. Very fair. This is their main shop. That green sign right there, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. It's it. It's and more also. So as I said, it, it's not just smoke and vape stuff. You can find cool little Big Bear trinkets there. Um, I always suggest you guys help out our owners up here that care about you guys, you know? Not everyone smokes and vapes, I totally get it. So as, as I said, they do have some other stuff in there too. And uh, you know, I, again, I don't get anything from these folks that I refer you guys to. I'm doing it because I want to give you the best best experience possible so you come back. If you guys keep on coming back, I get to keep on living here. That's the whole point. So I'm, I'm going to send you guys to the right people. Um, again, just give both their shops a shout, check them out, see, see what they're all about. And uh, I can promise you, you, you won't be supporting any any uh any kooks so both big bear smoking vapes and both of the get boards shops and all four of the shops are on big bear boulevard <laughs> three of them are within one block of each other and this is the one that's in big bear city this is their big shop but yeah so again i don't i don't get paid for this um, you know, I don't, I don't get like, I don't get anything from it. And full, uh, full disclosure at get boards, when I went in to ask them if they would mind if I represented them on the channel, because I heard so much good stuff about them, the, Tony, the owner was super cool. And when I went in there to rent some skis to go skiing, he just let me have them for those few days so so technically I guess I did get something out of it but it's not what a lot of people probably think I'm not gonna sell out like that I'm you know not not locally <laughs> when it comes to my uh, negotiations with Subaru right now yeah but it's a great car I, I wouldn't be trying to 
manipulate you guys just so I can get some hookups at Subaru. It's a great vehicle. And as, as you guys can see for so many years, it's been wonderful up here. But when it comes to the few companies up here, yeah, there's, it's only because I want you guys to have a good experience. passing Stanfield cutoff and this is where we are going to end for the day so guys thank you for cruising this was the aftermath so you can see the whole valley what it looks like after our most recent storm if you want to support the channel go to bigbearweatherandmore.com check out the merchandise you guys will be stoked it's good stuff it really is good stuff and uh, if you want to go other routes scroll down in the description of of the video and it'll show you how you can help in a different way and in the meantime, you guys, just have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me. I love having you here. And we will talk to you guys soon. Peace out on March 4th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake.